Hello everybody, I'm Elliot, and welcome back to Advective Weather. Today we're going to be covering Cyclone Freddy, which is currently in the Southwest Indian Ocean, and we're going to be continuing to provide coverage as long as it remains a threat. So the situation with Freddy is pretty similar to what we've been seeing over the past couple days. Uh, it's going to continue to move uh, sort of west-southwestward, and it will um, skirt the islands of Mauritius and La Réunion in about uh, 24 hours, so that would be tomorrow night local time. And it has re-intensified into a very intense tropical cyclone according to Meteo France, uh, which is their highest rating for intensity on tropical cyclones. Um, as for impacts to Mauritius and La Réunion, um, it should be uh, pretty mi minimal. Um, although the JTWC cone does show them in the gale force wind field, um, they should remain out of the hurricane force wind field, which would be the biggest problem for them. And uh, in terms of impact, you should probably expect to see maybe gusty winds, some high surf, and maybe some minor storm surge on the coasts. Madagascar, however, it's a different story as it's expected to make landfall there as a Category 3 equivalent tropical cyclone in about 48 hours. So that would be Tuesday night local time. And it's going to be still a medium-sized storm by the time it gets there. So storm surge impacts and um, heavy rainfall as well as wind impacts are all three going to be a threat. So please keep a watch on that if you're in any of those regions. The landfall location for Madagascar should be the central coastline near um, a little way south of Tomo Asina, so um, that gives you an idea of basically where it's going to be the worst. Uh, as for current conditions, uh, it's re-strengthened up to Category 5 according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Uh, one minute sustained winds are 140 knots and um, that does equate to 160 miles an hour or 260 kilometers an hour if you're a metric user. So the position is 17.7 south and 62.4 east, and it's currently moving west-southwest toward the islands of Mauritius and La Réunion. Um, Meteo France also estimated 10 minutes sustained winds of 120 knots, and that was enough to put it at um, very intense tropical cyclone strength. And their central pressure estimate is 931 millibars, which is pretty typical for a cyclone of this strength. And as you can see here, it has a very clear eye uh, with a very uh, symmetric CDO, which is pretty typical for uh, high-end tropical cyclones like Freddy. Um, and this is a, a loop which contains both visible imagery and pseudo-visible imagery. Um, and it's from one of my personal favorite sites, which is Dapia. So, um, if you want, like, uh, Mediosat 9 imagery, Dapia is a really good place to get that. In terms of, uh, weather models, uh, the Euro solution seems to be, uh, the closest one to what we're actually observing for the short term. Uh, it initializes at about 950 millibars, so... And while that's still not a great initialization, it's much better than the GFS initializes it at. And it does keep it as a 950-ish millibar storm as it heads toward uh, Madagascar. And it does weaken it substantially as it enters the Mozambique Channel. Um, although it does show some restrengthening and a landfall at about 120 hours out from the model initialization and it's going to be a little way south of Beira uh, for the Euro solution for the Mozambique landfall. And that would be as a, probably around a Cat 1 equivalent cyclone. Uh, the GFS also uh, initializes it uh, at about 950 millibars, but it immediately weakens it very quickly and makes landfall over um, Madagascar as a Category 1 equivalent storm, which is kind of unrealistic given the amount of weakening it would have to do before then. So I do lean more toward the Euro model in terms of intensity, um, but we'll definitely see uh, what happens in terms of track. Because the GFS does actually have it going a little further north in the Mozambique Channel, 
um, making landfall near Beira, and as probably a Cat 1 equivalent cyclone as well. So, what can you do to prepare? Always follow official guidance for accurate and up-to-date estimates if you're at risk for any cyclone impacts from Freddy or literally anything else. Um, so I provided a couple links for the officials. Um, Meteo France and Joint Typhoon Warning Center both issue updates on Cyclone Freddy, so always go to them to s if you want official information. We're just amateurs, we make videos, and even though we are MET students, we're not degreed meteorologists, so always walk, always uh, go to the professionals if you uh, want official things. And if you don't know uh, if you should evacuate, how you should prepare, um, what to do in case of a cyclone impacting your area, consult local officials since they know your area best and will generally know what to do if uh, you have any questions for um, how to prepare for a cyclone. And that is all for today. Uh, so it would be great if you subscribe to our channel, it really helps out. Um, click the link below and uh, we also have a Discord so feel free to join us there. Uh, have a wonderful day everybody and we will see you in the next update.